Well, the Great North Woods, it's the, uh, it's the largest township east of the Mississippi. It's 300 square miles, so it's roughly 300,000 acres, and it's basically nature's playground. Any day out is a good day. It's, I guess for me, it's that uh, the pursuit of happiness. The sport does it for me, every aspect of it. I'm Bill Bernhardt. I'm the head guide at Lobstick Lodge, and I live to fish. I'm Greg. I guide for Lobstick Lodge, and I live free and fish. Once the season gets rolling, you know, we'll have great trout fishing all the way up until the end of October when they tell us we have to stop. I think one of the misconceptions for a lot of folks is that it's not rocket science. You don't need a, a ton of money and you don't need a ton of gear. Anything that bites hard and bends a rod, you know, we're into it. <laughs> I have a superstition? Yes. I never break down my rods before I leave the water. The superstitions are constantly being added. I don't talk about the weather if inclement weather is predicted. I don't have a lucky hat. No, nope. all my hats have luck in them. I've had lucky hats. Yeah, no bananas on the boat, but I don't believe in that either. It wasn't 10 minutes. They both started hooking up and catching fish the way I had originally expected to. Pretty bizarre stuff. And so from here on out, no bananas in the boat. I believe that it happens, but I, I don't always follow my own rules. I don't really believe in the shoelace thing. A lot of th times people say if you break a shoelace, it's going to be a bad day of fishing. In a lot of ways, uh, paid to be lucky. <laughs> so uh, don't mess with it. <laughs> Wait for the noise, the pollution. Wait for us to have some fun. But at least in New Hampshire, you can, you know, as far as being outdoors and being like, you know, the personality that I am and, and doing the opportunities that I like to do, I mean, it's endless. It's endless. You know, you've got more hiking than you could do in a lifetime and skiing and mountain biking and being on the rivers and the water. And I mean, there's so much water, so little time. And I mean, you've got all those and they're just, I mean, it's just a simple drive, no matter where you go, you know? And where we live up here, it's, I mean, it's my backyard, so, I mean, it's awesome.